are many things in life that we take for granted, and most often it is those who gave us life itself, which is our parents. And uh, at 23, now I realize how painful and nerve-wracking for them it would be to be away from their home ground uh, in a new city, be an artist, and raise three kids. And all of us are big and strong now. My father just turned 60. And uh, recently, he asked me to check his email. And uh, there was one from a bank that said, Woohoo, congratulations, you are now qualified for our senior citizen schemes. And when I read that, I was like, no, Baba, you're getting old. And uh, I hugged him and I cried and I howled. And he didn't know how to respond, so he just laughed. So time passes you by before you expect it. Little things that our parents do, like my mother unfailingly calling me every day to check on me. Have I had food? When am I getting home? Sometimes she even sleeps on the other room sleeps in the other room on the couch if she's snoring too loud so as not to wake us all up. So all our parents, I'm sure, do such things and more, and we are thankless. My parents believe that I am an angel of a daughter, and uh, I can do no wrong. Um, but, and, and of course, they're happy to see me get to where I am going. But their idea of success is not rooted in honesty, especially in today's day and age. It takes a lot of scheming, faking, and lying, especially in the creative field, to climb up that ladder. My father, being an artist himself, I'm sure had to go through a lot of that himself. Though most of the music that we hear today uh, on the radio, which the masses are exposed to, are about love and heartbreak and partying, getting on the floor. The real things that we are surrounded by, the reality of our situation is not so pretty and it's not so casual. And uh, lately, I feel like musicians have lost the drive. Most artists have lost the drive to make honest art. And uh, I'm guilty of doing that myself, actually. Um, a very recent conversation with a very dear friend of mine reminded me of the responsibility that we have as musicians to make art that is not just an escape from your reality, but an affirmation of your truth. Truth that can be told through storytelling, storytelling that can be conveyed through music. And uh, all of this I tried to put into words and melody and uh, these are some things that I am afraid to ask my mother in real life. So this one's called Ode to Ma. Please do not be surprised by my Jimi Hendrix skills on the guitar. <laughs> there are none, no skills. <laughs> All right. Mother, did you lie to me when you said I was a quiet baby boo? Look, I am a woman now, I've broken many hearts, and I hurt you too. There are many parts to the story that's begun. With each chapter you will find your baby in the world Fine lady that you imagined her to become Mother, are you lonely when you sit and read in the corner of your room? 
When father sits there quietly drowning himself in cigarette fumes. Are you falling out of love or are you just worried about your son? He's 30, going on 31, and he hasn't found the one. Mother, are you lonely on the couch where you sleep when the day is done? She's got a smile on her face, and it never seems out of place. But rarely do they ever ask if she is happy. Well, she ought to be. After all, she just sings, entertaining, lying, professionally. Ma, your baby's been lying to you and her lover, and even she. Thank you. All of us in this room, I'm sure, are guilty of uh, ignoring their acquaintances and uh, believing that their friends are going to be around forever. And uh, these are just people that we come across in social settings, have a chat with, a casual conversation, maybe even hang out with them a little bit, and then later forget because uh, out of sight is out of mind. But. Uh, a friend of mine last summer sent me a letter all the way from Turkey. This is a friend called Zeynep, who I had back in college. And conversations between Zeynep and I were usually about whining about the boys in our lives and complaining and partying. Just casual stuff, as I mentioned, nothing too serious. But with the letter that she sent, there were two books. One was... Um, a book of poems by Rumi, and the other was a book called uh, 40 Rules of Love by an author called Elif Shafak. This book I didn't open until very recently, and when I did, I couldn't stop crying. And yes, I do cry a lot, sometimes to myself. Um, this book reminded me of the importance of seeking a companion in your life, someone who can be your mirror, who you can share your ideas of life with, who you can be with as equals. And this companion can be a friend, a lover, your parents, your siblings. And of course, it reminded me of her, of Zeynep. And inspired by these stories and her letter, I wrote uh, a tune in collaboration with a poetess from Indore. Her name is Arunima Rani. And uh, this one's called Shams Eta Breeze. मेरा दिल है तेरी कदमों पर उसी के आगे सर मैं अपना झुकाता रहा बंदगी तो मेरी फितरत है हर कदम पे मैं उसी Chupa 
कुछ तो खोता हो लफ्जों को अपनी ही बातों से ढूंढता रहूं उस आईने को जो तनहाइयों भेद साथ मेरा सच यही होगा अगर होगा तो कहो इससे ना कोई ख्वाब मेरा थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल सो मच आई एड लाइक टू इन दिस टॉक विथ अ ट्यून कॉल हनी and uh, this was a song that my best friend back in college wrote um her name is kelly hanuman and i like to sing this song whenever i can just because i want everyone to know her because she's amazing and uh, yeah this one's called honey and i hope you guys like it i want Even though I hurt you those many years ago I wish I could change it every day Go back and tell Thank you so much.